Hi, it's Francis from Three Monkeys Audio Visual. Just wanted to introduce you to a new product uh, just released by Logitech. Uh, it's called the Logitech Extend. Um, we always get excited about new ways to install and connect um, video conferencing equipment for our clients, especially when it can uh, reduce clutter, reduce messy cables, um, and generally just make it easier for uh, people to connect their devices in the room. So here we have it. It's the, it consists of these two boxes. This box is the transmitting box. So this will go uh, most likely underneath your table um, and provide a single cable connectivity. We'll show you that a little bit later. And this is the receiving end. This will go um, behind your TV, behind your display, hidden away, and connect to um, you know, your display and your camera. Uh, there's a couple of ways depending on what system you already have installed. So if you're running with a Microsoft Teams room or a Zoom room or something like that, um, I'm running a Teams room here behind me, you can see, um, then this can be used as what Logitech calls a BYOD pass-through. So I'm going to explain uh, what that is, but it can also be used um, in a room where you don't, where you're not running a room system, you literally just have a video bar uh, set up in your room and you're coming in with your laptop um, to simply plug in and connect. This can provide a really, really easy way uh, to do that. So I'll take you through how to plug it in, how to connect it and how to get it um, fully functioning. So firstly, I'll cover the receiving end, which is the extend receiver. Um, these are the cables I'm going to need to connect. Uh, it's going to be my power cable. My little micro USB, which Logitech tell us is for if we ever have to do any uh, future firmware updates, so good idea to plug that one in. Next is our USB-A, uh, followed by HDMI. And then the last cable we need to plug in is our CAT6 cable, um, which is going to join us. This is the cable that's going to join to the receiving end, but I'll show you how to plug all these other ones in to uh, a rally bar or a rally bar mini. Now that we have all our cables connected to our receiving box, we can start patching this into our video bar. In my case, it's the Rally Bar Mini, and you can see that I already have uh, the power cable connected and the HDMI 1 output going to my display. So the first cable I'll connect is the micro USB. This is the optional cable, if you like, or cable for doing uh, any future firmware updates if required. And I'm going to connect that to one of the uh, USB-A ports on the left-hand side. Second cable I'll connect is this USB-A. Uh, on the other side of that, we have a USB-C. So that's gonna be connected down on the little, uh, on the right-hand side, sorry, um, down here where it says USB-C. We'll connect that there. Third cable is the HDMI cable, which in this case is going to go into the HDMI in so just make sure you don't get it into one of these uh, HDMI outputs here. It's the HDMI in that you want to connect it to right up in the top uh, right hand corner. The last cable we are going to connect is the CAT6 cable and this is going to be joined to the transmitting box. Uh, which is going to be located at our boardroom table. So we'll go ahead and make that connection now. This is the CAT6. Uh, this is the other end of the CAT6 that's connected to the receiving box. Connect that and then connect the USB-C with the screw fixings here. So on the right hand side, uh, we'll pop that in here. And I like this idea of having these uh, screw fixings so we can tighten those up. Remember that this is going to live under your boardroom table. So by having this uh, the little screws there, that means that you know it's not going to get kicked out or accidentally pulled out or fall out. Um, other end of that cable is the USB-C that you will connect to your laptop. There is another USB-C port on here which is a power port. So you would connect this port to your power supply um, that is suitable for your laptop devices and that will actually pass power through to your USB-C cable that's going to be set on the table. Um, if you want your laptops to be charged or powered up whilst uh, running the system. 
So now that I've got everything connected, we can come along and use the system in BYOD pass through mode. So remember that means that uh, I've got a room with a room based solution, something like Microsoft Teams, like I've got here behind me, um, running on the built in Android in the Rally Bar Mini. Um, this will be sitting on the table somewhere. All I need to do is connect that to my laptop and the system will take care of everything else. So once I connect that, it'll actually tell us on screen uh, in a couple of seconds, there we go, what it's doing. There's nothing else you need to do from here. Just let the system take care of it. And there we go, it's presented my laptop. Uh, in this case, I've decided I wanna have a Zoom meeting. Um, so it's interrupted the Teams room for this one meeting. I can go along and have my Zoom meeting. Um, and when I finish, I simply remove the USB connector the system will once again take care of all the switching that will switch back to Microsoft Teams rooms um, ready for the next person to have their meeting. So if your room could do with some neatening up or some cable management, um, the Logitech Extend may be something that can help. Um, please reach out to us via our website. We'd be more than happy to come out, have a look at your room and assist where we can. Thank you.